Robert has not studied for his big test tomorrow. His friend tells him that he snapped a picture of an exam sitting on the teacher's desk and offers to share it with him. What should Robert do? For difficult decisions, Robert can use the decide model. First, he should define the decision of the problem. The problem is, should Robert cheat on a test? The next step is to explore his options. Robert sees that he has three possible options. Option one, report his friend to the teacher. Option two, decline the test, but not report his friend. Option three, accept the test and use it to study. Robert should also consider the outcomes. If he reports his friend, his friend will get in trouble and he may lose a friendship. If he declines the test and does not report his friend, he may get a lower or failing grade on the test, but his friend will not be mad at him. His friend is also at risk of getting caught. If he accepts the test, he will do better on the exam, but he may get caught and receive a zero score for cheating. Next, Robert needs to identify his values. It's important for Robert to be honest and to accept responsibility for his actions. Robert also feels it's important to be loyal to his friends. Now Robert is ready for the next step, to decide and act. He chooses to take responsibility for his grade and not cheat, but out of loyalty to his friend, he does not report him. Finally, Robert should evaluate the results. Robert scored a passing grade on the test, but not as high as he wanted. His friend got caught cheating and received a zero. Robert thinks a better choice would have been to offer to study with his friend and encourage him to also not cheat.